This is the case of Bruce Emerson Sawhill. If you want to know more about this case, please continue watching. Bruce Emerson Sawhill has many aliases. One is Bruce Sawhill. Another is John Sawhill. And the last is John C. Sawhill. So if you have seen this man, please um, contact authorities. But a little bit more information about Mr. Sawhill. He was born on December 24th, 1952. Or... February 24th, 1952, in Missouri. At the time of his disappearance, he had brown hair, blue eyes, and he stood at a height of 5 feet, 10 inches tall, and weighed 190 pounds. He is listed as a white male, and he has occupations in construction, um, specifically drywall installation, and he is listed in the NCIC database as case number W09057701. And like I said, again, if you know where this man is or have any information about his whereabouts, please contact the FBI or your local authorities and they will tell you what to do from there. But however, do not approach this man because he is suspected of being armed and dangerous. The FBI is also offering a reward of up to $25,000 leading to the information and location and arrest of Mr. Bruce Sawhill because um, in 2004 or 2005, Mr. Sawhill, I guess, decided to avoid prosecution. And so he possibly traveled to the Pacific Northwest area, Oregon or Washington. And additionally, he has reportedly grown marijuana in the past and could be working on a marijuana farm. He also has false teeth, possibly upper and lower ones. And Mr. Sawhill is accused of um, molestation of a child, just so you know. So I don't, you know, think that when they find him, I don't think they should take him um, carefully to jail. I think that some more things should be um done to him before he gets to the jail because this piece of trash is a sex offender and he should um as all sex offenders should um check in you know regularly like if they move or you know relocate or whatever for any reason to a different city state or county and um he is actually wanted for committing sexual acts on a minor. And it's known that in 2001, Mr. Sawhill allegedly um, assaulted a young female child on more than one occasion. So, like I said, he is a scumbag and, you know, he deserves to be dealt with in a certain way. I, and I feel like that about all people who harm and abuse children, whether it be mentally, physically, emotionally, sexually, whatever. If you do something to harm a child 
or put that child in a uncomfortable situation in any way, shape, or form where their safety or well-being is endangered, I feel like you should be dealt with in a certain way. And on some levels, you should feel the same pain and fear that that child had to when you were doing what you were doing to that child. So I think that when he gets to jail and or prison, he should be dealt with in a certain way. I feel like all offenders who harm children and things of that nature, they know they're wrong. So they have to have a plan and, um, you know, think about how they're going to get close enough to that child. So unfortunately, this scumbag here, he um, befriended the parents and um, the parents hopefully didn't know that he was a registered offender. Um, and he gained the parents trust and then therefore that gave him access to his victim. And now he was subsequently charged in Missouri with two counts of statutory sodomy and released on bond pending a trial. Now I cannot understand for the life of me why some people can be convicted of certain things and then released um you know on bond or bail pending a trial because most of the time that gives these people time to flee and possibly even hurt more children or more victims and you know commit more crimes and then sometimes they just figure out a way to get around, you know, hurting these children without leaving any trace that they have been the ones to do so. And unfortunately, a lot of times these people flee, they go on the run. And that's exactly what Mr. Sawhill or this scumbag, as I like to call him, did because he failed to appear in court on, you know, his set trial date. Um, so on June 5th of 2006, a federal arrest warrant was issued for him and he was charged with unlawful flight to avoid prosecution. Now, as I have said before, if you see him or know anything about his whereabouts that could lead to him being captured and arrested, um, you should avoid him because he is considered armed and dangerous. Like most of these people that I talk about, if you do come into contact with them or know where they are and you can help them be arrested and captured, please do so. But do not um, attempt to interact with them because they all should be considered armed and dangerous. But the FBI is saying that if you have any information concerning this person, to so please contact your local FBI office or the nearest American embassy or consulate. You can also contact the St. Louis field office or you could leave an anonymous tip online at fbi.tips.gov. Now, um, I will leave all of this information down in the description box below. And as I said before, if you know anything of this man's whereabouts that can lead to his arrest or capture, please call the FBI and they will tell you what to do from there. But do not interact with this man because he should be considered armed and dangerous. And I also beg you, if you are a parent of any children, do not leave your children alone with this man if you know him. I don't care what he says or what he does or how friendly he may seem. If you know who this man is and you have children, please do not leave your children alone with this man because he will abuse them, molest them. Because that is what he's being charged for. And he is a registered offender against children. So please do not leave your children alone with this man. If you do have children, if you have children in your life of any sort or any kind, do not leave them alone with him. Because the same thing will happen to them. But unfortunately, guys, that brings me to the end of this video. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up please leave me a comment down in the comment section below. 
and share this video if you care and if you are not subscribed already please make sure you subscribe and until next time guys thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one